We're going to go over the valve job here. Like I said, one of the first things I do, just so I know where I'm at, is I'll take me a pair of pointers and dial them in in the area that I want the seat. Now, the bad thing about SI cutting that 30 degree angle is it sure shorts down the 45 degree width on the face of the valve. Makes it a lot harder for me to do my job. Typically, I'll do the 45, then after the valve job's done, I'll come back in and touch the 30 on the valve to just a little bit before the 45 face. So anyway, I go up here then, let's get a little closer, and I'll uh, take my pointers. All right, now that's giving me a good indication of what I'm going to need to do. So let's start. I notice how I got my springs on there because you don't want a lot of pressure on there. Remember, what we're trying to do is take the horrible seat run out that these heads come with. I checked one knees. 16,000 seat run out. That is just horrible. Okay. Um, I don't want to get into it. It just makes me mad. But in order to get that, the only way you can get that run out out is with a 60 and a 30 going back and forth to, to straighten out the 90 degree angle between the guide and the valve seat. So let's back up and see what we can do here a little bit. All right. Now, all we're going to do is a little peck. Now, even though I haven't got the 30, I can still do a smack and then take a look at where it's at. And I've got, looks like I'm going to be doing a little grind. And of course, you know, this ain't a 202, it's a 205. Okay. Now the neat thing is, is once you do one and get it positioned, it makes it a whole lot easier to do all the rest. Wow, still got a lot more to go. And that's a good thing, because remember the whole purpose of this is eating that material up. I'm going to be able to make a really nice bowl out of this. Might even get it as good as a Pro Max. hear me over here doing that grinding it's where I constantly face my stones I go through stones faster than any cylinder head machinist I've ever known but I'm a firm believer in keeping that stone straight makes for the better valve job Unbelievable. All right, again. We might have it on that one. It's my fourth valve I've tested. <laughs> All right, now we're talking. Now I want to point out something here. I'm almost a little too far, but I do that on purpose so that when I come back in here, 
with the 30 degree stone I gotta touch it like I said this is my first initial uh, seat so I'm gonna go in here and uh, went ahead and refaced my 60 again. While I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and do my um, exhaust side. Okay, now I've got to reset from a 30 degree angle. The reason I don't stop right now is I'm letting this go straight through so you can see it unedited. Alright, now I've got a 30 and I'm going to put her in. And do a little kiss off here. Now I'm going to have to, I can't believe it, I went through four valves and want to go in here and uh, blacken one up again. Now this should tell me where I'm at right here. It don't get too much better than that. Let me see if I can. Um, all right, let me. All right, you can probably just barely see the line. That's just a touch more than ten thousandths from the edge, but that's okay. That's more than acceptable on this game. But now look what else has happened in the middle of it. And I knew it was going to happen. I, all right, see, it's got a little bit of a ridge. So what I'm going to have to do is do the valve job and put the head back up there to make it perfect and trim this little bitty line out of the chamber because now I'm going to have a ridge here where when the airflow is trying to come out of the pocket, it's going to hit it and cause turbulence and also detonation in the head. All right. You've sit and watched how long it's took me to do just the 60 and the 30. Now, when I get ready, I get all them done, I'm going to come back and do the 45. The reason I want to do that is you can look at this time, and believe me when I tell you, this is an easy one. It wasn't too awful bad. Why? Because I had to enlarge the valve. I had to do some digging. The one thing you don't want to do is sink a valve. So I got it pretty straight. That's why my valve jobs take three to four hours to do them because I'm after eliminating seat run out. That is how I was trained. It was what I was taught painfully so by my former employer, Mr. Jerry Goodell of Specialized Motor Service. All right. So anyway, let's go back in here. I'm going to go ahead and do the 60s and the 30s on everything and come back in. All right, the, the work's done. Like I've told in many of my videos, the 45 degree stone, that ain't the problem. All the work is the 60 and 30. And this adds a, a new, quite a new chapter to the Pro Comp, but it only makes sense that on these particular set of heads, they have fought me all the way to the end. But anyway... It took several 6030s on them, going back and forth to get them to come and lay out. And I don't even have to put a run out dial on them to do that by simply looking when the line goes on and smacks. If it's low on one side, high on the other, you know you just got to stop and redo it. So at this point here, I, I think they're in good enough shape. Let's do a swing to be able to go ahead and put the 45 on it. So 